name is Sophie, my, Sophie Hybertz. I live in Amsterdam and I, I work in Amsterdam at CWI. It's the Centrum for Wiskunde and Informatica, translated that is the Center for Mathematics and Computer Science. And um, yeah, about me, I'm 25 years old. I grew up uh, in the Netherlands in a, sm in a small, uh, small town. And I studied for both my undergraduate and, and my master's in Utrecht. And could you tell me a little bit about your work? <coughs> sure. Uh, so I work in theoretical computer science. I study algorithms and like it's it's a bit between like mathematics and computer science because I study algorithms but I work like a mathematician. I have my pen and my paper and I prove theorems. Uh, and the algorithms I look at are for uh, optimization problems. So many times in, 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 uh, in practice, in like industry or logistics or forestry or anything, we want to solve these optimization problems. And because this happens so often that people want to do this, there, there is very, very complicated, sophisticated software for doing this and it works very well. We can solve problems with, like, with, with thousands or tens of thousands of variables. And we want to understand from a more theoretical point of view, like why, why do these work? Um, and you said something about that sometimes these things in the worst case, they would take a really long time to run, but actually they work much better than that, but we don't know why. Can you tell us a bit about that? Yes, uh, so one, one algorithm for these optimization problems is called the simplex method. I worked on this uh, for quite a bit. Um, and in the, in the theoretical worst case, like the Mur Murphy's law, I think it's called, uh, like if, if somehow, if everything went wrong, then the simplex method would, on a real problem, it, it would take two to the 400 seconds. So longer, longer than we have time left in the universe, or at least that like, the computer would still be running by the time the sun burns out. But somehow, in, in practice, this works much better. And in, in practice, this algorithm is super fast. And there, there are a couple of different, different algorithms that have the same property, where in the worst case, they're really bad, but in real life, they're really good. So we try to we try to explain this. We try to prove theorems. We try to find find a model of what what does real data look like in contrast to to this artificial worst case data. We try to explain why why it's good in practice. And what what made you choose this area? Um, it was m mostly a coincidence actually. So I was I was studying in Utrecht for my masters. I was studying mathematics, uh, but I did. I did a uh, bachelor's degree in computer science, so I, I, w I have always been interested in, in, in algorithms and stuff. And there, there was a course being taught, a, a, a special topics course. It was only being given like once, and it was given by this researcher at, at, at CWI, and it was called Algorithms Beyond the Worst Case. And I didn't really understand <laughs> what's, what the course description, like there was, there was a course description of two paragraphs, I think, but I didn't really understand much of it, but it said algorithms and I liked algorithms, so I signed up. Uh, and this, this, this course, it was really great. It was, it was a very research-oriented uh, course with a lot of, we were doing a lot of stuff from papers and it, it, it wasn't like very, very didactically friendly, so to say, uh, but, but I really loved it. Uh, so then when it came time to, uh, came, to find a thesis subject and, and a thesis supervisor from, from a master's thesis, I thought, oh, well, I'll just contact this, this researcher uh, because he teaches a fun course, so probably he, got, he has a good taste. Uh, and then we actually, so he had like one, one project to, to work on to, uh, for me, which was like exactly the topic of this course. Uh, so, so yeah, it, uh, there, I had like one, one other person I asked who also had like a fun topic, but eventually I, I decided for this, and I'm very glad I did. And have you got a favorite sort of moment in your research, a favorite experience in your career so far? Yeah, I've, I've got something. Um, like at some point, I think it was over over the past year, uh, I was at a, at a conference, but there, there were all these difficult talks about like 
algebra and number theory and I didn't get much of it. So I was just like doing, doing my thing for a bit. Um, and at some point I just found, found a new trick. Like I, I've been trying to improve a certain theorem for, for, for weeks. Uh, and this had mostly like so far it had been a project I had really worked on wi uh, with my supervisor. We were closely working together, but then suddenly it hit me and I, I found like the solution which ma made everything work out and it was beautiful. Uh, so that I think that was like my, my favorite moment. Like somehow it's both to really, yeah, it, it really felt like this was the first thing that like I, I myself did. <laughs> So it, it, it felt really special to, to have like my, my, own, my own algorithm. It was, it was some kind of algorithm I came up with and like, yeah, sort of, I, I, I always wanted like, I thought, well, if, if you if really made it in, 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 in life, then you have your own, your own algorithm. So I can now call it my algorithm and that's, that's great. Thank you very much. You're welcome.